Hello again. It was like watching a weird kind of spring watch as it unfolded over the days and hours live on TV. The Ingerland fans gathered, totally bronze and list, outside the Irish bar in Marseille, chanting, no surrender to the IRA, and ISIS, where are you? And fuck off Europe, we're voting out. Our boys was doing us proud, clashing with the locals and the French riot police until they were outclassed by the more vicious, organised Russian hoolies who battered the hapless Brits. We invented football, rugby, cricket, exported them to the world, and now the world beats us in all of them. Same now, it seems, with football hooliganism. Seems we could be facing a double whammy Brexit. The England football team, followed by the UK from Europe. So, it's onwards with a referendum and onwards with a degenerate discourse that passes for politics in this septic island. The blatant lies and half-truths pile up skyward on both tainted sides. One of the many gathering ironies that no one seems to have remarked upon is that if there is a Brexit vote, all the swivel-eyed MEPs from the Tory right and UKIP will lose their grossly inflated Euro salaries and it will serve them right. Another irony is both sides of the Etonian Bullingdon Club are now claiming to be champions of the working class and the National Health Service. Meanwhile, Dennis Skinner MP and John Mann, both Labour, along with such left-wing detritus as the SWP, have come out in favour of Brexit. What a surprise! Apart from the unadulterated opportunism, they are obviously fooling themselves that by siding with the nationalistic, xenophobic section of the working class who are gullible enough to vote adios, as opposed to the equally beguiled who will vote remain, that the working class Brexiters are casting their ballots in a response to the leftist patriotic drivel rather than that of the Nigel Falange variety. A little bit like choosing the socialist bit of National Socialism. Indeed, it's a final, final irony that the only way the working class people ca uh, can express their frustration and alienation of this sick and degenerate system is to vote Brexit. Whatever the now too close to call result, there will be unprecedented political instability and about bloody time. Finally, Zombie Island will be shaken up. Here's to the refuseniks who will not participate in this referendum farce. You won't see us casting our votes on the 23rd, but you will see us on the streets, whatever the result. All kinds of chaos and opportunity may break out, all thanks to the crass stupidity of the Remainers and the Brexiters. Bye.